What's up guys, Triple C here. Welcome to my next tutorial. This is tutorial number 26. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build bridges for GP races. Now, um, there's quite some videos out there on YouTube on how to build them. I'll quickly show you how I would go about it if I would... Actually, I'm not a GP builder, and so I never actually used one in one of my races, but they're being used a lot in these GP races. And uh, I show. Uh, I just want to show you a simple method how you can basically quickly uh, build smooth bridges. Now, when you load into a job um, or you start a new race, your props will always have a default orientation. It's always the same. Um, they will um, point exactly north on the map. Also, if you look on my mini map now, or uh, if I take different props here, any prop when you load into a new job. Um, in the creator when you start a new job or you load one of your saved jobs any prop will face directly north so we're going to use that to our advantage here go on the barriers because the most bridges are built with these barriers you can do it with any prop actually it doesn't matter i'll just take that uh this one's being used very commonly so um now you guys probably know that if you um place um, these props up against buildings that they sometimes flip over 90 degrees um, but the thing is, you want to find a building that's heading exactly north. Like this building, for example, Max Torque found this one. This building is exactly line, uh, aligned like a compass here. It's down at the airport. Wait, let me show you where it is. It's this building here, the Opium Knights Hotel. Basically, this building is a compass. Um, this is direction north. This is direction south. And then you got east and west to the right and left. Now there's also other buildings uh, on the map which face directly north, so, so you can do it on any one of these buildings actually. So first what we're going to do is we're going to place our um, barrier exactly sideways. Now by um, starting this with the default north orientation, we now ensured that this is exactly pointing up. We're not, we didn't have to rotate it before, so this is 100% um, we're exactly pointing straight up. So now what we do is we lock the rotation by going on world heading, clicking right and left once. Now we can just elevate it and take it with us. We'll just build this thing at the airport because that's uh, it's got a flat surface. It's, it's an open wide area. So um, I'd recommend building a lot of your stuff at the airport just because you have this wide open area basically. You can later move your templates over to other parts of the map. Also if they're more than 30 props you can still move them. So basically now we have our, um, our barrier exactly sideways like we want it. And now we're just gonna start it out. Now I can rotate it also. Wait, I'll just place this one down here. Now we'll start building a template. I'm gonna quit out. Um, go back in and go on my cement bags. Uh, you can also use any other prop for this. I'm just using the cement bags because they're small and they don't obstruct your view. Um, wait, I'll place a bit more center here. Okay, now I'm going to make a template out of this. Create a new template. Okay, um, save template. Go on our templates. Okay, we're going to click on world uh, heading right and left once so it drops a bit. And now you just want to rotate it a bit always. I'm just going to rotate this a tiny bit. And of course you can play with your rotation settings there, you know? Okay, now, because if you're working from this angle, like if you are um, actually have it flat on the ground and you're rolling it, you never really see your transitions good between the props. So um, by building sideways, you can always see exactly that they merge good, you know? So I'm going to place this down here. Next one, I'm going to rotate a tiny bit again. And like I said, you can do it with more rotation or less rotation. Oh, come on. Yeah, just make sure that it lines up. Uh, you know what, I'll rush it here a bit. If you build this and you're going to publish it, obviously um, pay close attention that they line up perfectly. So now to save time, we're going to make a new template. Starting with our base uh, cement bags again. Right and left one, so it drops. Oh yeah, and now this one's um, got a different base heading because we're actually starting from this one. So um, quickly align those two by 
going over here you can also for example look i can see from the shadow here from that line basically where it aligns i could also just quickly go over to um another prop and uh, be, so i have a color difference between the two but um yeah anyways i'll just quickly do it like this just rush through it a bit okay now i'm gonna tilt this a little bit in this direction again Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to make a new template again. <clears throat> Create a new template and select prop. Cement bags are always our first ones in the template. Save template. I'll first get this one lined up with this one again. Okay, now I see from the shadow that I got it at a slight little angle. Of course, you could also place another prop between your cement bag and the wooden barrier um, to basically always have exactly the same alignment. Okay, now I place this one. I'm gonna make a new template again, just to save time. Okay, now save template. And basically runs and repeat here. Okay, I'll quickly fast forward this. I'm basically always using the same method, always increasing the total number of props in my template. And then uh, just going from there, just attaching that again. So quickly fast forward this as I proceed here. Okay, so now we're at 73 props, sorry. I mean, this is, <laughs> I mean, of course, you're not gonna build a bridge as big like this, but you can actually, and it will line up perfectly. I'll show you guys how to do it. But wait, let me quickly take out some here. I just worked with two templates. You can um, keep this going up to 100 props. Um, you can all move it in one piece. I'll show it to you in a second how to do that. But we'll just quickly, um, yeah, 60. I'll just do it with 59 or 58 now. Uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna place one red container at the end. I'll show you, you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Okay, so first we wanna get exactly the same orientation as we got with that wooden barrier, the last one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disallow prop stacking, go on this wooden barrier, and then we're gonna click right and left once. So now we basically copied um, the alignment of that prop or the rotation. We're gonna pick it up, we're gonna drop it again, and now we basically have this orientation back. So I'm gonna go on a container here. I'm using the red container, by the way. Ah, shit, that one's got a different base orientation. But it doesn't matter, we can still do it with that. Oh wait, uh, yeah, okay. Because this one's got the highest draw distance, that's why I wanted to use that one. Also, if you zoom out very far with the camera, you're still gonna see a red container, whereas other props will disappear. Um, wait, I'll just... Uh. Shit. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just using this as reference anyway, so this one doesn't need to be exactly straight. Uh, this one's gonna be deleted at the end of the process again. So basically just for using it as reference later in our build. So I'll just put it in uh, here. Okay. Okay, so now we got our container in there and now we're just gonna start building a template um, which incorporates more than 30 props. Now, I did show this in previous tutorials, but a lot of the GP builders are probably not looking at those because those are predominantly for stunt races. Um, so I'll quickly show you guys how to do this. Um, first, start. You, the, basically the trick is you always start with the same base prop. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm taking cement bags again as they're small and they don't obstruct your view. And I'm just moving it up on the barrier here towards the center and I'm gonna place it down here. Now, this is always gonna be our first base prop in both templates we're gonna build. So I'm just gonna start out, um, create a new template. This is our first one, and now I'm just moving over. You can also count loud with this so you um, basically know where your prop number 30 is gonna be in the template. Well, actually, I'm just gonna do it the quick way now. It's also for a build like this, you can actually really do it like this, pretty easy. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna delete two again. Okay, now this one is the next one and this one should be number 30. Yeah, that was the last one. Now we're gonna save this. 
Now we save this template, and now we're just placing down one prop for reference here. Uh, this cement bag here, we're going to use that as reference um, that we know in our first template, this um, uh, we clicked here for the 30th prop in our template. So in the next template we're going to build, we're going to have to start from this one here. So now to speed this up, I'm going to lay down some barges. Uh, wait, where are the barges here? Okay, now we're going to start building our second template uh, using the same base prop again. Go to templates. This is our first one. Now we're just going to use the barges to get over there where we want to be. Remember, this one with the cement bags was the last one in our previous one, so we're going to use the next one, which is this one. Now, as soon as we've got that one in, we're going to remove the barges again with the square. Okay, so the barges are all removed now. And now we can just continue going over here and getting the last ones in our template. Okay, save template, and now we basically got this whole bridge saved in two templates, but we can easily connect it again. Um, okay, now I'll quickly um, delete all this stuff here. Okay. Um, now basically, um, yeah, uh, yeah um, no, uh, you could have just also taken 10 of those in there and made a template out of it. It's all the same, um, just depending on how far you want to go with this. Like obviously this is a very, very huge bridge, you know, so probably nobody will build a bridge with 60 props, but you can, you know, so um, just use as many as you want. Um, now we got our base prop here and we're now going to um, roll it. This looks pretty straight. Yeah, and now we are gonna yaw it. And now this too, you know, you see how this basically, if we yaw it. And now if I click over to my template number eight, you'll see it connects perfectly where the other one left off. That's the trick with using the same base template. So now if I just pull this up a bit, there's my red container, you see it? That's my reference for where the last one is, basically, and seeing where it ends. So I can just place this one down here now. And the trick is not moving your camera, just um, zooming in and out. So basically now I'm on template number eight. I'm placing it. Now I'm deleting the cement bag, going on template number seven, and just placing that one. And that way these just lined up perfectly because we're um, using the same uh, base prop basically. Also, if you're not starting on the ground, just build yourself a small container in the air, which um, your base prop rests on. And that's basically the whole trick to it. Just place down one template, delete your base prop, select the next uh, template, which is using the same base prop again. Um, yeah, let's quickly give it a test here. And of course, this is a very steep bridge now, as I use 60 props, you know. If you just do this with 10, for example, uh, then of course it's not going to be as steep. Like, the more props you use, the steeper it's going to get. Okay, wait, exit test. And what can happen here, like, for example, now we um, buried our red container here. Um, I can, I'll show you, I'll do that in the next tutorial. I'll show you a method on how to get buried props out the ground. If you're still in your build process and you realize, oh shit, I just buried props under the ground, which I can't access anymore. If you're still in your initial build, you can just delete the whole template with triangle. And also the ones below the ground will be gone again. So you will have, the, you can reuse them. 
So yeah, I'm just um, following up on this basically with um, this different approach of building everything sideways. Uh, I'll quickly extend it and go on to if you would um, start your bridge out with barges and just show you a setup for that. Um, so actually now because we were rotating a bit and uh, rotating and everything, basically just changing the world orientation, we don't have uh, our praise, uh, props facing north by default anymore. So what we'll quickly do, we'll save our and enter it. orientation back with the props heading exactly north. So now we're going to load it again. Uh, bridges, there we go. Now we're going to load in and now we'll have our props facing exactly north again. So we're going to move over to our hotel again, Opium Nights Hotel gonna do the same we did with the barriers with barges now will not flip up um, against the building like this so you first gotta start out with a different prop so if I take like if I take a barrier for example now it'll stand up again or if you see here it'll, it'll just uh, flip over behind this wall here so that's what we're doing now we're um, taking a barrier or take anything you know just take uh, just the barge will not do this so you have to take a different prop first uh, we'll just take the cabin now you see now it flipped over once it flips over we're going to lock the rotation world heading right and left and now if we move it out we still have this um, orientation lock now we're just going to move over to our barge and this one will be facing exactly up it's exactly straight of course if you would have used the side of the building you'd have it standing exactly up 90 degrees um, differently so depending on your setup you might want to put it on the east or the west uh, side of the building not on the north or the south side so basically just placing it down here um, working with the cement bag as base prop again for the template making a template Okay, now we got our template. Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, I never actually built something like this before. It's just the uh, first time ever doing something like this. Okay, uh, so now we actually got a lot of props in this one here already. So what we'll do, we'll just take a few of them out. Just so I can just work with one template, but basically that previous method I showed you, um, you can also of course do that if you do a more elaborate build from the from the get go, and also put barges in here and still make a template which is bigger than thirty props and just get it to line up perfectly by just using the same base prop, using the same placing position without um, without changing the uh, camera angle during placement of the different templates. So now if we go over to our next template, oh wait, it was this one here. So now we can just get these barges in here. We line it up here, the center. And that's what I said with the east or the west side. You probably use the long side of the barge, but just do it on the east or the west side of that hotel. And basically you're good. Ah, shit, I didn't press right and left once, but yeah, it doesn't matter. And also, look, <clears throat> yeah, wait, let me quickly, I'll quickly demonstrate the exact precise method, because I was just rushing it there. Now, basically, we know um, we want to place it here, so I'm going to place it once, then I'm going to take a different prop, uh, take a green container or a white cabin in this instance because that would be easiest and I'm just going to figure out the exact base of my um, look from the height I'm gauging it now at the bottom of the cement bags I'm just going to place it down here I'm going to delete this out again and now we're going to use that as a benchmark to get everything at the same height where are our templates okay um, right left okay now um, just elevate it a bit pull it over your benchmark and now we're going to do the same thing with the next ones, and that's just to ensure to get everything at the same height. Now descend it a bit, pull it over your benchmark, 
ML disparage will also be exactly at the same height. And now, depending on your setup, you know, just do as you like. <clears throat> now with this one. And pull it over your benchmark again. Rotate it a bit in this direction. Okay, and now we're gonna just do the same thing again with the. And actually, if we. Yeah, I think this should work. Wait, let me see. Place it down here. Now we're going to make ourselves a template. Save template. pretty good already and you see how the barges are basically disappearing because they don't have a very high draw distance so that's why i had the red container as reference in the other build which would also make a lot of sense here because you just don't really see it very good where it places uh wait now we're gonna go on yaw again and we're just gonna yaw it up a bit basically you know this really sucks because we got to work with the side of the barge as a visual if we would have a red container, it'd be easier to see. So yeah, just placing it down there. And of course, remove the cement bag. And let's quickly give it a test. Oh, I want to test it, not say. Okay, test. still pretty steep but you can just play around with it you know or if you come from a hairpin this will actually work with the speed here if you come at it with full speed it will work more as a ramp but you can just in your initial build of the template um, just make sure that they're not as, as a steep angle as I did it right now because obviously I was just rushing it here but yeah basically that's how I would go about building a bridge um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll, I'll, I'll knock that one out pretty quick also because it's also such an easy thing to do. I'll show you guys how to recover buried props that you buried under the, uh, under the ground and that you can't access anymore. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll check you guys in the next tutorial. I'm out. Peace.